Hello, everyone, and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of October 22nd, 2023. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And I'm posting the pod a little early today because I have a spiritual retreat client visiting and we're leaving early this morning to spend the day in Yellowstone doing all the things. Old Faithful, Grand Prismatic Springs, the Lamar Valley. It is a beautiful day to live in Montana. Now this week has a lot of intense energy. Scorpio season starts tomorrow and this week the energy is building towards the lunar eclipse on Saturday. And Scorpio season can be an intense time. So we want to enter this week with care. Scorpio is the sign of transformation. And this year, transformation is extra potent because of the eclipse and both Mars and Mercury also being in Scorpio, amplifying that Scorpio energy. So we can get some insight into the Scorpio energy by looking at the signs two ruling planets. One of them is Mars, which is the planet of action and energy. The other, Pluto, the planet of power and transformation. Scorpio isn't satisfied with anything that's surface level, and it wants to go deep. We're talking about deep transformation. We're transforming our power, our most intimate relationships, our ability to be vulnerable, and be brave enough to try new things. And then just a few days after Scorpio season kicks off, we'll experience the final eclipse of the year, a lunar eclipse and full moon in Taurus. Lunar eclipses occur when the Earth's shadow falls on a full moon, giving it a red tinge. And a lunar eclipse is like an especially powerful full moon, and it's a time when we see endings. While full moons invite us to be more yin and let go and be one with the universe and all that, lunar eclipses don't invite us. They tell us. They tell us to let go, to surrender, to go with the flow, and allow the eclipse to do the work. Now, we may want to control the transformation process, but there is no way to control what happens during an eclipse. And yet eclipses work in mysterious ways and always seem to be guiding us to where we need to be. They bring wobbly energy that unsettles our spirit and stirs up our emotions and gets us to see things we didn't notice before. Because there's also a strong wave of fixed energy with this eclipse, we will really, really be challenged to surrender and release what is no longer in our control. Eclipses are always helping us to shed layers and step into more of our authentic self and to realign with our soul path. You can think of them as leaping points where we step into higher consciousness and reach a new chapter of our soul's evolution. Since this Taurus eclipse is the last in a Taurus Scorpio cycle, it does hold incredible power for endings. If there is something, anything that you want to end, use the energies of this eclipse to do it and say goodbye to all that is no longer serving your soul. While you may have specific things you're ready to be free of, let the eclipse also work its magic and put the final pieces of the puzzle into place after this two and a half year eclipse cycle. Pluto is very active under this eclipse too, and Pluto, like Scorpio, is also synonymous with the themes of death and rebirth. At this time of year too, the Pleiades, a star constellation linked to death and rebirth, also aligns in the sky. So there's a strong theme here of death and rebirth. We're on a journey of renewal and transformation. Now, this could be literal death and birth, but it's more likely that it's the death of our old identities and the birth of new ones. In all kinds of ways, maybe you've been married, now you're single. You had an important executive job, now you work for yourself as a massage therapist. You used to do yoga, now you're a runner. You lived in the city, now you live in the country. We're moving into our new identities. Jupiter is another planet active under this eclipse. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. So whatever we are going through may feel magnified right now. Things may seem bigger or more important than they need to be, or we may blow things out of proportion more easily. While we can overreact with Jupiter's energy in the mix, 
Its energy also allows us to see things from a higher perspective. And when we look at things from this higher perspective, our minds can also expand, helping us to realize things we didn't see before. Jupiter, as you know, is the planet of abundance, and Taurus, the sign this full moon and eclipse is in, is also the sign connected to abundance. So abundance is in the air right now. We can expect to see some opportunities and expansion. There's new space in our life being created, and this abundant space is full of new inspiration, new ideas, and new possibilities. So with this strong mix of powerful energies in the air, the end of October is destined to be a powerful time. Endings will happen. New beginnings will slowly emerge. Transformation unfolds. And sure, we may feel rattled and need to confront some shadows and unearth some things that are uncomfortable, but we're making peace with it all. We're making peace with ourselves. Now, because the eclipse energies are volatile and we're undergoing this tremendous transformation, please be gentle with yourself. This is a great time for any type of self-discovery work, any sort of journaling or meditation, or even going back to therapy. When this Taurus-Scorpio eclipse cycle is complete, we graduate to a new stage of our evolution. We've grown and now find ourselves in a higher state of consciousness than we were before. And by the time we move into November and reach the Scorpio new moon on the 13th, fresh energies will be flowing and we leave Scorpio season feeling transformed, renewed, a little more settled, and ready to begin a new chapter. So in one month, by the end of Scorpio season, things will start to speed up. The end of the year will be in sight, and there will be a lot of forward-moving momentum as we end the year. Remember, we're almost at the finish line of change for the year. So just surrender and allow the eclipse to work its magic. It's all for our highest good. And that is it for the week. This is also the last week of my double eclipse sale package. You get two 30-minute sessions for only $111, and I will put a link to them in the show notes, or you can go to my website, abundology.com. As always, thank you so much for listening, liking, subscribing, and sharing this podcast with a friend who may find value in it. Be gentle with yourself this week, and I will talk to you again next week.